。もうそろもう。All right. Good afternoon, viewers at home. Welcome to another edition of our show. The show is Serious Matter on Niger Campus TV. And with me in the studio today is. Olatunde Oluwashion. Welcome, everyone. Yes, Olatunde Oluwashion is with me in the studio today.、Um, the show is、uh, Serious Matter, like I said, and this is another wonderful edition. I want to wish you all happy Sunday. And today is the last Sunday in the month of June. Happy Sunday. God bless you all. And、uh, the topic for today, we'll be discussing a very interesting topic. In the past on the show, we've been discussing different topics that h a s to do with politics, security, and national issues. But today, we want to center on the family. We want to talk about the family、uh, on the show today. The topic for today is marital infidelity. Who takes the blame? Before we go on, my name is. Tim Tokwe Ombu, I am your regular host on the show. Oluwashio, what is、uh, infidelity? How, how will you define it?、Um, infidelity is unfaithfulness. Unfaithfulness.、Yes. Okay, in unfaithfulness in marriage. In marriage.、Uh, okay. Like Oluwashio defined infidelity, he said infidelity is unfaithfulness in marriage. And I would define it as.、Uh, Let me give a broader definition to it. It's some faithfulness in marriage or any intimate relationship. It can also be defined as a practice or instance of having a sexual or romantic affair with someone other than your spouse. But there's a funny aspect to it. The funny aspect says, without the consent of your spouse, th- this will not apply in Africa because in Africa, <laughs> That consent does not come in. Uh, uh, maybe in, in, in Europe and some other、uh, p a r t of the world, if you have the consent of your spouse, you can go into、uh, a sexual relationship with someone else. Two wonderful people, three wonderful people will be joining me on the show today. Three wonderful people. I think we'll have more people to discuss the topic today. The first person is Edwin Glober. Edwin Glober is.、Uh, Uh, I, his name is i g e t i Edwin. I call him Edwin Glover. He works with、uh, Techno s t r e e t He's in Lagos, Nigeria. And the second person is a wonderful woman. I respect her so much. She's Ayomi Kun Aluko, woman leader. That is the, wom- the leader of all the women that I've ever seen. She's the woman leader of Sanu. Sanu is a union in the university. She's the woman leader of Sanu in Fidra University. Oh, yeah, a kitty. Uh, uh, you're welcome on the show. Let me start with the woman. Please, can you kindly introduce yourself? And, okay, sorry. We have a doctor, a medical practitioner, Dr. Victor Ige. Dr. Victor Ige is also in the studio with us. But please, your, your video, check your video and let's see your face. Dr. Victor Ige is、uh, a medical consultant with Fidra University or Yeah, a kitty. Let me start with the woman. Can you, can you say hi to, to everyone? Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's edition of this show. My name is Aluko Ayomikun.、Um, I think the host has, in, has done the introduction proper. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is very brief.、Uh, Edwin Glover. Okay, my name is Edwin Igele.、Um, I'm an IT consultant and I work at the country and I also do freelance consulting when it comes to the IT space, but specifically the i t t l e space of、uh, telecommunication. I'm a father, <laughs> single. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Edwin Glover. Dr. e g y please, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, that is the man. Sorry, I'm u t e d Hello. Okay, thank you. This man is talking like a doctor, talking like someone who is in the studio today. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you very much, Dr. Igi. Yes,、um, 
It's my pleasure to uh, welcome you all to uh, the show today. I, I, I am glad we have men who would do justice to the topic. And, and thank God, everyone here is married. So we can, you have the right to talk about the topic. Any single person, the co-host who is learning on the job cannot really talk about the topic because he's a single person. But I will ask him a few questions so that he will, he will also learn in the process. Yes, uh, the case of... Um, uh, Ataga, Usifo Ataga is fresh in our mind. We know a lot of other cases like that. Uh, last week, a man died in an hotel room due to some issues caused by extramarital affairs. And a lot of things like that have been ongoing in the society and we really need to talk about it. Uh, if a man... There are two men here and a woman. If a man is involved in extramarital affairs, who will you blame? Let me ask the woman. Uh, Mrs. Ayo, Mrs. Ayo Miku, who will you blame? If a man is involved, or, okay, let's say if a woman is involved in extramarital affairs, will you blame the husband for not doing well or will you blame the wife? Thank you. Your opinion. Um, in my own opinion, everybody is responsible for his or her own actions. You can't blame your extramarital affairs on your other partner. It is something that it is a deliberate act. You cannot just say it is the other partner that actually pushed you to it. It is because you are willing to do it. There are lots, we have lots of cases around, but the fact remains that Whoever is in that affair is the one to blame for it, not the partner, not the spouse. No. Okay. Uh, you said um, everybody is responsible for his own behavior. So you cannot blame uh, the, uh, the partner for, for it. Uh, Dr. Gay, what do you say about that? Please unmute your audio. We can't hear you. Okay. Um, sorry about that. I said I can't agree any less with um, um, Isaiah Mikwasi. Uh, there is still a personal decision that um, one must have thought over and over and over before going into it. So, um, some people might claim that that um, law is the um, something that you didn't prepare for her to do, or something that happened out of frustration, or maybe uh, because your partner is able to uh, meet up with uh, one responsibility or the other, or is not doing as you have uh, been promised or you've been expected. But the fact still remains that the uh, relationship is um, two way and uh, it's not strategy, and it's never the bed of road. So one must come with that mindset that. Or down, and whatever happens, the promise when one is taking the vow, then take it. And um, that particular vow, then that certainty, um, I guess, as all of us, always, and as us, I would say that if the person involved that is actually. Um, Okay, thank you. I, I, I love that opinion. I love that opinion from a man. If a man is saying the person involved, I, you, are, you are being diplomatic. You, you said the person involved. So if it is a woman, the woman should be blamed. If it is a man, the man should be blamed. I love the dimension you are, you are coming from. Uh, Edwin Glover, are you there? Absolutely, um, I'm here uh, with us. Sir. Let's... let's Let's take the case of. Let me ask you this question. Let's take the case of um, uh, the CEO of Super TV, Alex. Uh, sorry, Usifo Ataga. Uh, from I, I learned that uh, his wife is based in Abuja. Can we attribute that to one of the reasons why he, 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 he was involved in that uh, 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 saga, the issue of extramarital uh, affair? Uh, Edwin Glover. Okay. Um... It's a fantastic question. Um, sometimes I, I like to be a little bit controversial, but uh, just to offer the perspectives of things. Um, when it comes to who is responsible, I think the lion's share goes to the person involved. 
However, there are several factors that are also responsible for something to happen. You might mention that you have a situation where the, the other spouse, that's the wife, lives in Abuja, while the husband is in Lagos. In that sense, I would want to also, you know, share the responsibility across board. Why? Um, I will give a critical example. I got married in 2012. When I got married in 2012, 2013, I got a job offer which was going to take me out of Lagos. And they were willing to give me an opportunity without working at Abuja at the state. And my simple question to them was the fact that I just got married. I am sure that I want to actually have a situation where my wife will be living in the world. And I'll be living in the, either in Abuja or, 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 or worry as the case will be. One, because I always say for any disease to happen, factors must play their role. The environment, the pathogen, and the host. It's, if the disease transfer is not complete, there's no way you will have the disease to occur. In this case, you refer to infidelity. So if in the event I have created an environment, the host is available and the person is there, definitely disease will occur in the same way infidelity will occur. So I would want to actually share the blame across the board. Having the spouse, you know, in the, being in different locations so is not healthy. Okay, you want to share the blame across the board in the case of... Uh, of uh... Usifo Atsaga. Uh, thank you very much. Let me go to the woman in the house. Dr. Egg is no longer in the studio. He will be joining us again. Uh, 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 man, who said... Our host is also also I think there's a Ah, unfortunately. Okay, I think he's coming on. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, no. yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, there's a case of uh, a man who said, uh, due to misunderstanding caused by uh, sex at home, sexual relationships between the man and the wife. The, man, the wife was trying to bring up a calendar for sexual activity between herself and the man. And the man said, I can't take this. I paid for it. I paid for everything. So I, maybe I will look for it outside. And if in that case, what, what will you say? Will you still blame the man? Because he said everybody will take responsibility for his action. Will you still blame the man in that situation? Like I said earlier, um, every person is responsible for his or her own actions. And in marital relationship, I believe that communication is key. You can't say because your, your spouse brought up a calendar or something that you decide. See, in areas where such things happen, I want to believe that communication is already lost. If it's a two-way, communication is a two-way thing. It is something that they can both sit down and discuss about. If you have a wife who is working full time and you also work full time and you also know that she has, you, you see, these days with, we, we, we are now exposed to a whole lot of things and women or people generally now believe there are some things, there are certain issues that you just need to talk about. It's not going to be, if you feel it's not going to be convenient for you and you bring it up with your spouse, it's, you should reach a consensus. If a man is not willing to what I don't subscribe to the idea of um, drafting a timetable for sexual relationship or all that. 
But sometimes when you have to plan your life, you plan everything. But in such a case, the man would not, should not, let me not say would not, should not because the wife brought such issue up, decide that, okay, because you've drafted the timetable. Do we even know the content of the timetable? Do we even know it? Like, funny enough, we don't even know what the content of the timetable is. Maybe it's once a month or once a week or bi-weekly or daily or it's only morning. You see, you can say because she drafted the timetable and you now say, oh, each of us have our mental health to deal with. And if the woman has been honest enough to speak to him, to bring it to the table, it is something they should discuss within themselves, agree or disagree. You disagree to agree on issues, not because, okay, how can you just draft one and you just flare up and you just decide that, okay, because he has drafted the timetable, you are no longer interested in how you just move your things out of the house. No, I don't think it makes any sense at all, at all. If she has... If she's willing to communicate with you in that regards, you should also have a listening here and reason together. If it's not going to work out with you, fashion what works for you. The same thing does not work for every relationship. Marriage is not a stereotype thing. The fact that this thing works for family A does not mean it is going to work for family B, does not mean the same thing is going to work for family C. So just find out what is going to work for your own family. You can because your wife did this, you and like my dad's wife is doing that, your wife should do this. No, I think communication is lacking if that has happened and the man has decided to go out or something. It's something they could have talked about or probably have counseling sessions or seek um, help for. That's my own point of view. Okay, um, thank you very much, um, Mrs. Ayomix. Uh, let me go to uh, Dr. Ige. Dr. Victor Ege, did you hear the question I asked uh, Mrs. Ayamiku? Can you uh, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry, I missed the question. You you heard the question, Abi? Okay, I should repeat the question. Okay, I, I said there is. Eh? Repeat it. Okay, please. Can you can you can you let me hear your own opinion about the what I the question I asked? Okay, I should repeat the question. I said, a man said uh, the wife drafted a timetable for sex, not food, for sex. Said, uh, you, you maybe, she actually said we don't know the content of the timetable, but the wife drafted a timetable. And the man, the man said, I, I am not comfortable with such timetable. And the man went outside and started uh, messing around, extramarital affair. Will you still blame the man or you will blame the woman in this case? Or how will you share the blame? Uh, well, I would rather say that uh, sex is as important as food in marriage. It's as important as food. It's important as food. In fact, um, it's, uh, it's written in the Bible. That all woman deny not thy husband by body, and same for the man. Meaning that even from scriptural angle, God understands that sex is not something to trivialize in marriage. And so, if hmm. you think it's so important that you can do timetable for it, I see no reason why. You can't go to that extent. Is that to help you? Because I want to assume that this timetable is not going to be something like um, once in a month or once in a year. Timetable are usually for something that we expect to be a recurrent testament, something that will be coming up to when so, regularly. regularly. So it might be that there is a uh, communication gap or the ego of the man. It means something wrong in what the wife has done. But naturally, the problem has been that the number is frequent or too um, handy to understand. For you getting handy because someone dropped off the time table, but the two is only meant to be the time table. The man is absolutely wrong in there. If 
the issue has been something like maybe like um, it's not enough or it's not hard to get. I will be on the side. Okay, we have to do this. But do not um. Let's say for instance, in the process of doing that, it's a static type. How do you balance? That? How do you want to justify your action or the consequence of your action? Based on the fact that oh, I did it because I was trying to run away from time, but I'm not happy. With that. Like in the case of the man that we are, we are how looking back, if it's possible for a man to actually take a look at his life after living here, can he actually justify that? Oh, I actually went out of uh, because my wife. And I think the end is So whatever action is going to be about that, eventually the end is not going to be about that. It doesn't really work. Okay. Thank you very much for that uh, very, very frank opinion. I picked something. You said, um, you said uh, sex is as important as food in marriage. Uh, as a medical doctor, I don't know if you are coming from that uh, dimension that sex is as important as food. Ed, uh, Edwin Global, will you agree with what uh, the doctor said? Ed? I think I strongly agree with him that says um, also as important as food. Not less, I want to speak from the perspective that has to do with uh, having understanding, like I think that Mrs. Aliko mentioned, it has to do with communication. Not have a problem with having a timetable. Why? Um, if you look at one of the scenarios that Mr. Aliko with respect to the day to day runnings, which, um, you know, and as well having a husband that works. Uh, it, um, um, you would also want to think that uh, we, are, we are human, we are machines that uh, require time to rest and the rest of them. And, and also, if you look at the idea, right? uh, there are some points in your life you need to look at some basic things to see how best you can actually function or how best you can actually you know, you know, do that which is required of you. Uh, but most importantly, that communication must happen between both parties. Uh, just to also reiterate, like uh, Mr. Adoko has mentioned, we disagree to agree. So in the event that the timetable is not, is not robust enough to address the needs, we can have a communication to look at some of those those areas, those people, to make the, you know, the calendar or the, or the timetable more effective. That both parties at the long run will be happy for it. Uh, so I do not, I will not frown with such, such an idea. Okay, so um, I want to encourage that if it's possible, it can work in such situation, fine. Thumbs up for such a, a couple. Uh, but if it's not going to work for such a couple, then fine. But we must have the conversations when issues like these are raised so that we can actually come out, you know, uh, best out of the situation. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Edwin Global. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this very, very, very short break. Uh, the, the topic is still marital infidelity. Who takes the blame? I know you, you, you will have learned one thing or the other from what uh, the wonderful people I have in the studio have said today. Uh, please don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this short break. Thank you. Yes. Um, you're welcome back to the studio. I, I hope you got uh, the, the, uh, the tape, the video that I played now. It's an advert. And 
uh, the, that is uh, the advert of investor. He's, he, he runs a business in Nadbury City. We'll talk about that later. Let me ask the single man sitting beside me. Uh, who will you really blame? You've heard what our guests said. Who will you blame in the case of marital infidelity? Is it the man or the woman? If, either way. Uh, well, uh, on this issue, I cannot say much because I'm too so good. But I believe uh, experience is very sister. So, with this, our guests have said, they said, uh, the, uh, the man uh, the, 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 you, 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 you should be responsible for your actions. Action. Either the man or the woman. You know, we are not talking about the man here. We are yes, talking about uh, who, uh, who, uh, who, uh, who is involved. Uh, yes. And in the case of uh, Utifo Ataga, I, I know it was uh, Edwin Global that said uh, 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 he will share the blame because the woman resides in Abuja. So you will not put the blame 100% on the man. Let me go back to the woman in the house. What will be your advice? We are trying to round up the show now. We have just five minutes more. What will be your advice to men out there? I, I know it is common to men. Men who feel... For one reason or the other, they have to uh, be involved in a uh, extramarital affair. What would be your advice to them, Mrs. Ayoniko? You know, surprisingly enough, these days it's not just men. I think it's cross. It cuts across both gender, as um, Yoruba people will say. We both share one lick, no one So it's yeah. not just a man. <laughs> it's no longer a man thing. Like you just even couple who sleep together and wake up together and go to the same workplace, you now see them both having extramarital affairs. Uh, the point in time is almost becoming as if it is now a norm for some people to have illicit affairs, which is not supposed to be. So I don't want to just pinpoint it to the man because now it happens even with the other gender. But my okay. own advice is if you have decided to stick to choose one person to stay with, then stay with that person through thick or thin, work things out, communicate effectively. If there is something you feel is lacking in your bedroom, talk to your spouse about it. Either ways, make things work. It's not a one way thing. And it, there is no rigid rule about sexuality or something. It's something that you have to be flexible about and work on on both parties so that's my that's my word that's my word. thank you very much uh, mrs uh Ayomiko. she said communication is key and i believe communication is key uh thank god when the single man sitting beside me uh Uluashio said he's single so he's learning uh, i i really appreciated that um dr Ege, what will you be your advice uh mrs Ayomiko said both men both m men and women are now involved in this you cannot say it is a man's thing and uh, it's both sides. What would be your advice to men and women who are involved in extramarital affairs, especially with the space with the space of killing uh, going on? Your audio, please. Sorry, your remarks would be say that we are lost people by like fraud. Usually, get hit at the side of the assault. Um, for men or women that are out there, I just felt that if you have the content of the Bible and if you have the law of the application, um, they should just consider the Bible. What if you get to know that your husband or your wife is being possible? Are you going to be happy? If you are the type, you are the part, the part that is faithful, you are the type that has seen yourself and all, and you get to know that your wife is going to be happy for you, will you be happy? Hmm. And if you're not going to be happy, then that should be enough reason for us. That should be enough reason for us to stop. 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 You shouldn't get to the extent of us having a daily plan, like in case of the man we're talking about, you can't return the phone and the phone. You shouldn't wait to when things get to that And if you think the relationship is not working, that you think you try everything for you, you can't do it. 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 You can
more if your life be done. That can even hmm. be an idea. That what you are actually that thing that you are not valid that you may get separated for a particular reason to form by the realize that oh and there is no other way so if they feel the relationship is not working, they should consider quitting the relationship instead of uh, messing around. I, I think I can hold that. Let me go to uh, Edwin Glover. Edwin, what okay. is your last thought on the show today? Okay, I'll say this. Um, this has the end in mind. What am I saying always have the end in mind? The Bible says in Proverbs, there is a way that seems like unto a man, but the end thereof is destruction. Okay. Before you act or before you do anything, always have the end in mind. At the instance, it will look pleasurable, but what will be the outcome of the repercussions? Uh, like the case you write this week, today, there is nobody to speak or to defend the because the end has come as a result of infidelity. We all know that we all have cravings. It could be corrupt practices, it could be sexual pleasures and the rest of them. It is high time to begin to battle with them all those excesses. Don't put ourselves in a difficult situation where by the end will be destruction. The end will be disgrace. Or the end will come out, you know, something that will hurt us eternity. So my my simple encouragement or my simple uh, urge to us is the fact that always have the end in mind. What will be the outcome of my of what I want to do? Is it going to be positive? Is it going to be negative? A lot of people have gone this route. And today, see that they have sexual uh, disease or something has happened. You know, they've lost their families. Some lost their lives. So always have the end in mind when you want to take any decision. And you don't come back crying. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for that. Wonderful work. I always have the end in mind before you take any decision. Always ask yourself what would be the end result of this decision. Sincerely, this I, I don't feel like ending the show. I just wish we should continue for the next three hours. It has been lovely having you guys around. Now let me say thank you to the woman in the house, the woman leader, Mrs. Ayomi Kwaluko. Thank you very much for honoring us with your time. Thank you for having me. It's a player. Thank you very much. Yeah, Dr. Ige, I, I want to say, I know you're a very busy man. I want to say thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Edwin Glover, uh, the Lagos man, thank you for for, for, for preaching to us. Uh, uh, for everything, there is there is <laughs> there is a way that cement right onto a man. Yes, that is what I want to put. And the end thereof is the way that leads to destruction. Thank you for for that wonderful uh, word. Thank you for coming on the show today. And thank you, and thank you to all the other participants. Okay, God bless you all. Um, uh, also be running of the show. Olu uh, what do you what do you what do you have to say before we before we leave the studio? Well, I will not have much to say because they have said it all. They have said it all. Yes. So, but uh, I can say I want to advise everyone because I've not been, I have not been in this step. <laughs> okay. So I'm just a learner. They are just giving me uh, let Please. me say uh, a rotation. At least uh, my <laughs> uh, 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 counseling uh, that will help uh, you in marriage. <laughs> uh, so I thank everyone yet uh, in the show today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for um, your piece of advice. Okay. You. God bless you all for honoring us with your time. The show has been wonderful. The show is serious matter. And the topic we considered today is uh, marital infidelity.
who takes the blame. Justice has been done to the topic. If you want to view the show later, you can view it on our Facebook page, Niger Campus TV, or our YouTube channel, Niger Campus TV. And do well to click on the subscribe button for your being the show. Thank you very much. More of this show will be coming your way later. Uh, other shows that will be coming your way on Niger Campus TV, uh, uh, Breaking Limits and Campus Gossip. Breaking Limit is hosted by three wonderful people, uh, Investor, Oli Cube, and uh, Tosin Adifoju. Then uh, Campus Gossip, the host of Campus Gossip is Victor Odelo. Uh, this is Serious Matter, and I am your regular host. Shell is joining me as the co-driver on the show, and thank you for joining us. Let me sign out with this advert. Thank you very much. God bless you all.